if you're planning on delving into intertribal marriage hey you got it with that will be banime do you understand you have to eat liver and kidney you, know, you understand what i'm trying to say because when it comes to anything intertribal aside from the fact that marriage you know there are individual differences your spouse is definitely different from you you are not raised by the same people do you understand and the things that we have grown up to experience our experience has molded our understanding you know into a kind of different kind of things you understand what i'm trying to say understanding is by experience your experience has molded you into a different kind of being some things you have to unlearn some things you have to learn they are also <laughs> <laughs> there are also cultural differences when it comes to taking a wife getting to marry you or getting to you know marry him or him marrying you or when it comes to you having a baby there are a lot of differences for example i am Igbo and my husband is yoruba i'm not just Igbo i'm from abia state and my husband is from a kid's state so you'll be here mm, mm, grr, grr, grr. <laughs> it's his baby boy he's giving us our morning dose you understand so please kindly filter that off your air do you understand what i'm trying to say good morning adorable people i am didi and you're welcome to the channel if this is your first time here thank you so much for stopping by kindly watch this video to the end go back to other videos and watch them as well leave your comments down below let's get this conversation ball rolling like our videos share them and subscribe do not just subscribe but turn on the notification bell so you can get updated and alerted whenever we put up new content on the channel and if you are subscribed viewer here's your applause thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much for stopping by for coming back to the channel for another video kindly leave your comments kindly watch it to the end first don't just leave comments based on these two three minutes talk you know the sound trying to say yeah so like and leave your comments and let's get right into this video so like I said in my house <laughs> Abmada Hmm? Adane Uruku Anu. <laughs> adane, Adane Naya, Adobe Adese. <laughs> Leave all the others because Aumada. In Igbo land, the first daughter is called Anada and the second is called Olu. Olu. Please, let me you know. I don't know how to pronounce it, but if you are Igbo, you know what I'm trying to say. And if you're not Igbo, I've given you an idea. So, one you know go and learn the pronunciation so when i told my mother when i presented my yoruba <laughs> eligible shelter up to my parents that was the first thing ibada is not possible you are not going outside the tribe or they're all possible then you know they started asking me questions like <sighs> and then i'm like oh one year yoruba is it guinea on your family there was a there was there was it was catastrophic my mother would not have it my father was just saying go and pray that was that was that was that was what it was that was it my mom kept hammering mba I did not give birth to my daughter for Yoruba people. I did not, I did not, I did not. Ga, 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 ga. It was not a joking stuff. The child I trained very soon now will become a party popper. Nde Yoruba na party. Nde Yoruba no one me. Nde Yoruba na lezo. Biko a chow mia mancha. This and that and that and that. Bia? We are in Yoruba land. We are in Yoruba land. Ah. With my church mind now, I said, Oh, when you chineke, this in co is a get it. Nebezi, yow cherry, 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 come chicken egg. It was, yo, it was long, it was going on for years, but I can come out and say categorically that it is worth it. That was why I took that decision. I knew that I love this, I, I love this brethren. <laughs> 
I knew I loved this brethren, but there were other things that I did consider as well. I had known him for a very long time. He had been my friend. He even knew my menstrual cycle. <laughs> as in he just he just he just gets me anyways all of these things are not just yeah they are criterias but when you enter inside criteria will change i can tell you for a fact that criteria has changed because matrimony has been matrimony but that is not the point today so if you are thinking of yeah, delving into intertribal marriage first things first Leave in the comment section down below how it has been, how the introduction phase was if you are involved in an intertribal marriage. I'm not saying you did not marry from your place now. I'm not saying that uh, Ubakala did not marry from Ubakala. I did not say that Webula did not marry from Webula. I'm not saying uh, the Eziago, or I don't know, did not marry from... No, I'm trying to say if you did and if you are... <laughs> if your home is, <laughs> is an example or reflects intertribal marriage, acquire man, Igbo, Edo, and Igala. Let me know in the comment section how the introduction phase was. Let me know how it is going and leave tips for your girl because I just I just told you where mine is from. And to all my Ekiti mother ills, please give us tips on how we can. Yeah. Here are some things that makes Yoruba men different from other men. I have a brother, he's purely evil. I have evil men around me. I my family they, they get boys <laughs> you understand so i have uncles who are evils and i can just say teeny weeny from afar i can i can judge them and say oh this is how evil men are but i will tell you for a fact that you see yoruba men they are condigning <laughs> they are mood here or the cooker do you understand me so i'm going to leave you upcoming wherever you're from Igbo, yoruba ethic ibibio wherever you're from and you say you want to marry a Yoruba man? Let me, with my small experience, give some you some tips. Do you get me? First things first, you cannot drag Patsy with the Yoruba man. <laughs> you see, my mother was right. Whether he's average class, whether he's of the high class, whether any class he is, whether he's introverted, whether he's a Yoruba man and Patsy, is five and six. It's like pantanyash. <laughs> you cannot separate the Yoruba man from Mwambe. Because, let me tell you, my husband craves party rice. That's for you to know how party, how party, partied. <laughs> Hello, people. And if you want to just survive it, say you don't want to give yourself high blood prayer, you just have to understand that when it is time, let him go to his parties. If you know you want to go with him, if you want to come out as a couple, because most times I'll be sincere with you. They always like to take their women along because they like to show off their women in parties. I don't know about anywhere else, but in parties, I'm very sure of that. Hello, sister. Please just pull out your lace or any lovely fabric that you know. Slice it in the right places. Let the curves come out. Don't go barefaced because this is not a time to do team natural. Do you understand? Slay your gilly or whatever head covering or whatever hair you're going to put on. Get um some jewelry. Let your brows slay. Let your lashes, you know, give it. Let your lips pop, girl. <laughs> Queens. Party. Oh, dim. Oh, dim. You cannot separate a Yoruba man from party. So just be ready to slice your knees in the right places and, you know, carry yourself with your shoulder. I am a, I am a, oh, you is, is there. Do you get me? So, another thing you cannot separate a Yoruba man from, a Yoruba man will never trade or compromise his respect. Some of them are, I'm sorry, they are uncalled for and unnecessary. I'm telling you. Some of them are too inside, inside. But you see Yoruba man and respect? In fact, that's supposed to be number one. Yorubas and respect. They always come at other tribes, especially the Igbos, that we lack respect, that we do not have respect. And it's because of just one major thing. Because we do not kneel down to greet, Igbos bow. But me, growing up, my mother taught me to kneel down. I kneel down till today to greet my mother, to greet my parents, to greet any elderly person around me. So I am used to kneeling down to greet people elderly people actually but the Igbo tradition you bow a bit to greet and in Igbo tradition 
it is the family that decides whether they call brother sister auntie Igbos don't really that i i think that is not a definition of respect to the easterners jiggy i'm trying to say blood and auntie it's not our thing they and that is our thing but you know i really don't know so dear queens dear mamas <laughs> you upcoming yoruba bride hello Eh, is L. You the best. You they aggressive. You they pain. But you they do you anyhow. They do you. Hello. Do you understand? Shelly, so your in laws because they tell you in laws are sacred. Oh, Roland, no, I've been this to say it. Respect is not reciprocal. Respect is respect. Your woman and respect, please don't hamper with. And three, do you understand? Three now. Your woman and food. They like their swallow fluffy. It's not like Igbo. You understand? That's why they used to call us the Ajekutama Mumia. They had the thing they talk about. Say so with the chop rock, we know they drink water. If you're going to be a Yoruba bride, darling, you have to ensure that his swallow is. It depends on his level of soft, but they do not eat kondu kondu. You understand? They don't massage and press. <laughs> you understand? Eh? And if you were born in a family where it is gari, you will use yellow gari, village yellow gari, the one that used to, used to draw, that used to make his own mother. Enya, I'm not sure your mama might eat that with you. They are used to semo and like I said, they like their swallow soft. Most of them eat their food very hot. So it depends on you in my home i make Igbo meals and my husband makes nasty combinations you understand he eats vitalif soup with rice he eats Uziza soup with spaghetti i don't know how to start all of these kind of things you understand so it depends now you're in the dating phase cutting phase start introducing your tribal foods to him if he enjoys it and accommodates it keep making it but if he's if he wants his he kokore and his begiri and he's just trying and slay around it don't worry you will, you'll be okay you'll be fine don't worry mm? you'll be fine and please there's something i want to put out there there is this general saying that i'm not supposed to say this but i'll say this there's this general saying that yoruba mother-in-laws are <clears throat> hello they you know get where you know they so it's not a tribal thing do you understand you not get where you not day. That's that's one thing I want to put it. I want to put out to you, and I will tell you for a fact. If you are the way you are with your mother, or the way you are, I know some of them can be extra, but you see the way you are. I think it's also a factor. But uh, mother, let me tell you the truth. Mother and laws are mothers. The way your mama they give you best boo, so you know if you do anything when they give you, stay be gallant, be a gallant mopo. It's not a tribal thing. I'm very sincere to you. It's an individual thing. Do you understand? So don't go and be fearing that. Ah, they say you bad mother in laws. So I say lie. You not get where you know day. Do you understand? Sit on your space. Know your space as a wife and as a daughter to the family. And God will fight for you. <laughs> Let me say it like that. So with this viewpoint of mine, hope I've been able to encourage you that don't run far. Don't don't run far. You you'll be all right. You'll be alright. People before us have been alright. So last last we'll do okay. <laughs> alright guys. So to my next video. Stay healthy. Stay happy. And stay safe. I love you guys. Bye.